Back in then, we didn't go to school a lot. We picked a lot of cotton and stuff. I was a sharecropper's daughter, and we had a big farm. We worked on the farm. Everybody said I was lazy, but I tried. I tried to pick cotton. I didn't do that good, so my dad sent me home to tend to the babies. My mother had 12 children. So this is cotton for people that are up north and don't know what cotton is. I would cook good to keep from going to the field, clean good to keep from going to the field. So I had my dad's heart right, now, right there. And he said, baby, you sure cook good. You got everything looking so good, so I, oh, I know I can stay here tomorrow too. I used to pray, and I prayed and asked God to let me be the caregiver. As we say, we want to take this opportunity to allow our visitors to come forth who have testimonies, amen, um, that will help us have a better understanding and help us be more vigilant, help us to be more mindful of this thing called AIDS, amen, HIV AIDS. Let's give the Lord some praise. Amen. So what I'm trying to do now, my intention is just to tell my life story of what really happened to my family.